and welcome to Incredible Inverts and Other Animals with me, Phil. Now, if it's your first time watching uh, any of my videos, please do uh, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. And in this video, we're going to have another look at another incredible invert, this time the green sun beetle. Let's have a look. Okay, well, here we have the green sun beetle or Pachnoda prasina. Now, the scientific name is really the only name for these guys. As with a lot of invertebrates, there's no common name really. I've just given them the name of green sun beetle, as the genus Pachnoda is what we tend to call sun beetles. So, some of you may be familiar with the more common species, the common sun beetle or Pachnoda marginata peregrina. And a lot of sun beetles are bright yellow and black in their markings and coloration. These guys, though, as you can see, are a lovely shade of green with that lovely bright yellow outline to them. And now these guys are starting to become slightly more common in captivity. Uh, we are breeding them a bit more often now. Uh, this is my second generation of adults uh, from grubs that I bought a few years ago. Now, and these guys are doing very well. They just require slightly different conditions to the common sun beetle. So the uh, larvae actually require slightly more wood in the substrate compared to others and they take slightly longer to uh, mature as well. Now where does this beetle come from? Well, this species, like most Pachnoda species, can be found in Africa. And in particular, Pachnoda piscina comes from Guinea and a couple of islands in the Gulf of Guinea, Sao Tome and Principal. Now, like other Fruit eating beetles, the adult beetle itself will feed happily on overripe fruits, uh, vegetation, and tree sap as well. And then the larvae feed on decaying matter, so decaying leaves and decaying wood. Now, in captivity, we can feed them a whole host of different uh, fruits, especially things like bananas, apricots, kiwi. Apple, pears, any kind of soft fruit, and especially uh, slightly overripe is their favourite. But in our homes, that can attract a lot of fruit flies, which can be annoying to us sometimes. So another thing we can feed them is this pot of jelly, which they have here, which comes in many flavours as well. Now the larvae, like I say, they need to eat the uh, substrate. So we use decaying deciduous leaves, as well as decaying deciduous wood. As well, and this species likes slightly more wood compared to other Pachnoda species, um, which does make their care a little bit different. Okay, well, here we have one on my hand. I have to be careful with handling these guys, they can fly as uh, you saw in the uh, other clips, especially uh, when there's enough light and it, when they warm up. So, and also, when handling them, you may notice on uh, my finger there, they may poop on your finger. So, and that's just a defensive mechanism. A lot of predators don't like it if uh, an animal poos on them, so they'll leave it alone. They can also release a bit of a smell as well. Now this smell can vary depending on your own sense of smell. To me, it smells like grapefruit. Other people think it smells like rotten fruit. That's a very effective form of defence as well as the pooping. Now, as you can see there, they're not necessarily the most graceful of flyers. They tend to bumble around and bump into things and fall over all the time. And here we have a female which does not have that groove down the middle of the abdomen there. Hopefully you can uh, see it on these guys. And you can see the underside of these beetles is incredibly iridescent as well. This is what we call a pupil chamber and this is where the larvae develops into an adult beetle. It gathers soil and poo around, creates this chamber and inside it pupates into the adult beetle. And here we have one just being extremely cute and cleaning its little face. Look at that. I mean, come on, can you get much cuter than a beetle cleaning its face? And like all animals, they love to be clean. So they'll do this fairly often, but you don't necessarily always get to see it. So quite lucky here uh, that this one decided to start having a bit of a clean. Now for these guys, I find that their lifespan tends to be around about a year or so. Uh, so that's from hatching out of the egg, developing as a larvae, going into the pupation chamber. 
uh, amputating into the adult beetle. And then the adult beetle lives for around about maybe four or five months, sometimes six months if I'm lucky. So, now you can also see here, uh, hopefully, some little springtails running around and they help keep the enclosure clean. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that look at the green sun beetle. I hope you'll agree that they are incredibly beautiful uh, beings. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Please also leave a comment down below. And subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Also, comment about any other invert or animal that you would like me to feature. And if I can, I will. Anyway, I'll see you next time. And we have another look at an incredible invert or animal. Goodbye.